The Large Hadron Collider will reopen today after three years of being shut down for improvements. CERN scientists announced something weird is going on after they turned on the Large Hadron Collider. When scientists at CERN turned on the huge Large Hadron Collider, they noticed something strange. What they saw inside, the strange particle realm, shocked them and made them doubt everything they knew. So what lies behind the secrets of the cosmos? Join us to delve deep into the undiscovered depths of science, where the unexpected serves as a catalyst for groundbreaking discoveries. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN has been a key part of important advances in particle physics. Since the beginning, the LHC has been at the forefront of scientific research. It has pushed the limits of what we know about the basic nature of matter and the universe. One of the most important things found by the LHC was the Higgs boson in 2012. The Higgs boson is a particle that gives other particles mass. Its discovery proved the existence of the Higgs field, which is responsible for this mass-giving mechanism. This discovery was a turning point in particle physics. In 2013, Francois Engler and Peter Higgs, who independently came up with the Higgs mechanism, shared the Nobel Prize in Physics. On July 5, 2022, the LHC detector switched on all subsystems and started recording high-energy collisions at the unprecedented energy of 13.6 teravolts. This accomplishment was made possible by the operators who had worked around the clock since the start of the LHC last April. After over three years of upgrade and maintenance work, the LHC was set to run for close to four years at the record energy of 13.6 trillion electron volts, providing increased precision and discovery potential. However, when the LHC was turned on, the physicists saw something peculiar. According to specialists, they could be caused by magnetic monopoles. But do they actually exist? Magnetic monopoles have not been substantiated by empirical evidence, but theoretical considerations such as the concept of quantized fields and the compactness of the U1 gauge group have led to the idea of unification. In 1974, physicists began exploring the idea of unification, which led to the development of the grand unified theories. These theories predicted the potential stability and decay of protons, the existence of new superheavy particles, and, as demonstrated by Gerard Hooft and Alexander Polyakov in 1974, the existence of magnetic monopoles. It is important to note that we currently lack concrete evidence supporting the relevance of grand unification theories in our universe, but it remains a possibility worth exploring. When considering theoretical ideas, one aspect we examine is the presence of pathologies which could cause the proposed scenario to disrupt or break the functioning of the universe. When hoift polyakov monopoles were initially proposed, a significant pathology known as overclosing the universe was identified. Magnetic monopoles are a potential solution to the monopole problem which is caused by an excess of stuff in the universe when introducing a large number of previously massless particles with non-zero masses or suddenly adding numerous massive particles to the universe. Inflation, which stretches the universe to a state resembling flatness and imparts uniform properties to all regions within in our observable universe offers a potential solution to the monopole problem. This realization dates back to 1980, when the interest in the tulft polyakov monopoles, grand unified theories and early models of cosmic inflation, converged. In 1981, physicist Blas Cabrera constructed a cryogenic experiment involving a coil of wire explicitly designed to search for magnetic monopoles. The most important details of the phrases magnetic monopoles, universe, grand unification, and inflation are that in the early stages of the universe, the environment is hot and energetic enough that any particle-antiparticle pair with sufficient energy, as dictated by Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared, can be spontaneously created. Inflation, which stretches the universe to a state resembling flatness and imparts uniform properties to all regions within our observable universe, offers a potential solution to the monopole problem. This realization dates back to 1980, when the interest in the tuft polyakov monopoles, grand unified theories, and early models of cosmic inflation converged. 
inflation, which stretches the universe to a state resembling flatness and imparts uniform properties to all regions within our observable universe, offers a potential solution to the monopole problem. Blas Cabrera conducted an experiment in 1982 to detect magnetic monopoles in the universe. His setup consisted of a coil with eight loops and his reasoning was that if a magnetic monopole passed through the coil, it would induce a specific signal due to electric induction. On February 14, 1982, Cabrera returned the next day and was astonished by the observation. The experiment recorded a single signal that closely matched what a magnetic monopole should produce, which sparked significant interest in the field. This discovery sparked questions about inflation, the existence of magnetic monopoles, and whether it was an unprecedented experimental error, glitch, prank, or unexplained anomaly. Several other experiments were conducted in an attempt to detect magnetic monopoles, many of which were larger in scale, ran for extended durations, and had a greater number of loops in their coils. Magnetic monopoles have been the subject of much discussion in recent years, with the possibility of grand unification being one of the main theories. However, the truth behind the events of 1982 remains uncertain due to the lack of evidence. The Large Hadron Collider is an important tool for studying the potential existence of magnetic monopoles, as it is able to produce magnetic monopoles at extremely high energy scales. Additionally, the upper limit to the temperature achieved during the hot Big Bang phase is determined by constraints imposed by observations of gravitational waves, which must be generated by inflation. If grand unification is relevant to our universe, it can only occur at energy scales exceeding the aforementioned limit, meaning if magnetic monopoles exist, they must possess a significantly high rest mass on the order of 1015 GeV or higher. Finally, nearly four decades have passed since the intriguing experimental clue that hinted at the potential existence of magnetic monopoles emerged. Researchers found that the monopoles can't be less than 70 times the mass of a proton. This is the first strong limit on the mass of monopoles. Following these tests, it was discovered that a hole in the Earth's magnetic field remained open for 14 hours. People began to believe that CERN was opening a door through which something from another world could pass when this news was released at the same time as other strange news. Despite the fact that a hole was opened up in the Earth's magnetic field, experts say there is no cause for concern. Still, the experts agree that while the hole was open, it let especially strong solar winds pass through. The Earth's magnetic field is rarely talked about outside of science lessons, but it is very important to how our planet works. It not only helps people find their way by keeping compass needles facing north, but it also keeps the ozone layer from being destroyed by solar winds that would otherwise hit it. Even though we don't talk about the magnetic field very often, we can't say enough about how important it is to live. NASA scientists say that more study needs to be done on solar winds because they can hurt or even destroy satellites in orbit around Earth and cause power surges that can knock out power to a whole city. But where did this crack come from? It is made by the forces of nature and features a rare event from our hot neighbor, the Sun, called a co-rotating interaction region, or CIR. When fast and slow streams of solar wind meet in the low and middle latitudes of the heliosphere, they make these CIRs, which look like tapestries in the sky. Think of the heliosphere as a cosmic stage where grand shows take place. The sun's magnetic field and solar winds make it look like a theater. Coronal mass ejections dance out from the sun, pushed by the very nature of co-rotating interaction regions. These CMEs have shockwaves and squeezed magnetic fields that create a beautiful symphony of space weather that looks like beautiful auroras in the sky. In the world of magnetic wonders, a certain event happened in the early morning hours of July 7th that caused a long-lasting G1 geomagnetic storm, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Deep in the solar wind, a complicated story was playing out. A coronal mass ejection was tucked in the flow just before the co-rotating interaction region. The question is whether or not we should worry about this crack. Cracks in the Earth's magnetic field are not something to worry about, say the experts. This magnetic shield is our protection and keeps us safe from the sun's storms. We thought that these cracks in the field appeared and disappeared quickly, but new cracks have shown that they tend to stay open for hours at a time. Yet, among the many secrets of the universe, a mystery has appeared that has NASA's attention. The once strong magnetic field now shows signs of an error. Its weakening strength shows that something is wrong. Scientists aren't sure why it doesn't seem to be as magnetic as the stars say it should be. The effects of this oddity have been felt all over a large area, from South America to Southwest Africa. The mystery still stands, and it's called the South Atlantic Paradox. 
NASA runs a symphony of satellites and spaceships in orbits that work well together in the area where people's reach goes beyond Earth. Here is where people start to worry, because as the magnetic field weakens, so do our defenses against the sun's charged particles. We are vulnerable and our lives are like a delicate dance between the heavens and the watchful guards of space. But for now, there is nothing to worry about. That brings us to the end of this video. Please share your opinions, theories, and experiences in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe and switch on the notification bell to stay up to date on all the discoveries we make.